Hi, I'm Matthew. And I'm Raz. We're part of the team dedicated to Android app safety. Today, we're going to walk you through the new Android developer verification process and help you get ready. We're introducing this new requirement to elevate Android security and make installing apps safer for everyone. You shouldn't have to choose between an open platform and a safe one. Trust is the foundation that allows you to build a successful business here, and it's what gives users the confidence to download your app. Unfortunately, we've seen that bad actors are constantly trying to erode this trust for their own gain, which harms both users and our entire developer community. Malware and financial scams target vulnerable people all over the world. To give some context, our analysis shows that apps installed from internet side-loaded sources account for over 50 times more malware than apps available through Google Play. This both hurts users and erodes trust in the entire ecosystem, including tarnishing your hard-earned reputation. This new verification will make it much harder for bad actors to distribute harmful apps. Starting in September 2026, Android will require all apps to be registered by verified developers before they can be installed on certified Android devices. We've announced well in advance so we can get your feedback on the verification experience to make it as smooth as possible. We encourage you to sign up for early access. This is the best way to get ready to help us shape the experience with your feedback. We've designed the system to minimize the work you'll need to do. We've created two distinct paths depending on where you distribute your apps. The first path is for developers who distribute apps only outside of Google Play, for example, through a website or other app stores. If this describes you, you can use the new Android Developer Console, otherwise known as ADC. Here, you'll verify your identity and then register your apps. The second path is for developers who distribute apps on Google Play. If you're on Google Play, you've likely already completed your identity verification and the apps you distribute on Play are connected to your developer identity. So next March, before the verification opens to everyone, Play will automatically register most of your apps for you. This means that for most Play developers, the only remaining step you'll need to do is register any app packages that you distribute outside of Play. You'll be able to do this simply through the new Android verification page in your Play console. This lets you manage all of your apps in one place. Let's quickly cover the Play Console path. It should be very straightforward for most Play developers. If you are on Google Play, you should have already verified your identity, so you don't need to do it again for this new requirement. You won't have any extra IDs to upload or forms to fill out. Play will automatically use the information that you've shared to register your Play apps on your behalf. You don't need to worry about those. We expect this to work for the vast majority of apps. If you do need to take action, you will see clear instructions in the Play Console so you don't miss anything. You will need to manually register apps that you distribute outside of Google Play because Play doesn't have this information and won't be able to register them on your behalf. Now, let's talk about the path for developers who only distribute outside of Play. We've designed our new Android Developer Console for you. The first step is creating an account. You'll choose one of two options. Limited distribution is free. This is intended for people who are experimenting, like hobbyists, students, or enthusiasts, who only plan to develop for themselves or a small group of users, not for broad public distribution. Full distribution is for developers who intend to distribute apps broadly. This requires a $25 fee. To create an account, we will ask for a government ID of the person creating the account and a contact phone number and email address that you'll need to verify. For organizations, we will also ask you to provide and verify your website and business registration information. We use Dunn's numbers for the business information. This is a nine-digit identifier from Dunn and Bradstreet that is unique to your organization and confirms its legal status. If your organization doesn't have a Dunn's number, you can apply for one for free directly from Dunn and Bradstreet, but this can take some time, so make sure to get started early. You can read about it more on their website. Once your identity is verified, you can register your packages. 
This is the process of telling us that you are the official owner of a package name and certificate, which makes the package installable by users. Let's walk through it. Step one, provide app details. In Android Developer Console, you'll provide two pieces of information, your package name and the SHA-256 fingerprint of your app's public signing certificate. If this is a new package name with no existing installs, you will only need to provide the name and the SHA-256 fingerprint, and you're done at this point. You can get this fingerprint from your key store using tools like KeyTool. If your package already has active installs, ADC will display the certificate fingerprint we associate with this package, and you will need to select it to continue. Step two, copy the snippet. The console will generate a snippet, a unique string tied to your developer account. Copy this value. Step three, add the snippet to your app source. In your IDE, either in an empty Android Studio project with the same package name as your app or your actual app, navigate to your app's source tree. Under main folder, create a directory called assets. Inside this assets folder, you'll create a file named adi-registration.properties, open the file, and paste the snippet. Step four, build and sign the APK. Now you can build a release APK and sign it with a private key that corresponds to the public certificate fingerprint you provided in step one. Whether you use App Signer from the command line or the Android Gradle plugin's sign and config block, the signature is what proves you are the legitimate owner. Step five, upload for verification. Finally, upload this newly signed APK back to the console. Our server checks that the APK is valid, the signature matches the public key you provided, and that the adi-registration.properties file contains the correct snippet. When all three checks pass, your package name is successfully registered to your verified account. If you distribute a package using more than one certificate, you can add additional certificates after you register the package. This requirement also gives us a chance to solve a legacy technical issue with duplicate package names. For the first time, developer verification will allow us to make new package names unique. Once a verified developer registers a package name, no one else will be able to claim it. This means users won't run into confusing install errors if they try to install two different apps with the same package name on their device. Nearly all developers already use unique package names, so most developers won't run into this situation you will simply register the names of the packages you already own. For the rare cases where multiple developers are using the same package name, we will try to resolve it into a single owner and ask the other developers to change their package names. If multiple developers are using the same package name and they all have a very small number of users, we will consider that package name available and the first developer to claim it will be able to use it. In other cases, where there is a meaningful number of installs, the leading developer, who has the majority of installs, will be able to claim and use the package name. We know there may be complex situations, so you'll be able to request an exception if you need one. Let's talk about user experience and your top questions. Many developers have asked about ADB. ADB installs won't go through this check. The apps can be installed through ADB without being registered. Also, apps installed through enterprise management tools on managed devices will also be installable without being registered. This is because the IT admin is responsible for the device's security and decides which apps they trust. Another frequent question is whether Google will make developer information public. The answer is no. We're collecting your data only to verify your identity and don't plan to make any of it public. Android developer verification is an important extra layer of security that protects the trust in our ecosystem. It protects your brand, and it protects Android users. For more detailed information, guides, and FAQs, visit our website. We keep this regularly updated based on your feedback. Early access starts this week, but there's still plenty of time for you to join and get hands-on experience. Thanks for helping us build a more secure Android for everyone.